Hey there. I'm not doing a fancy two camera setup. I want to get right to Lightroom and show you the second part, what I call the bake or the editing of the Boiling Springs photo shoot down near Bella Vista, Arkansas. My wife and I had a good time. If you didn't see the first video, I'll put a link below. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, that helps us. Um, and any critique or any comments that you'd like to put, love to hear from you. If I can help you photographically, that's why I'm doing these videos. I love doing these. Let me go into Lightroom. Here we are in Lightroom. I've got three images here. Uh, I did a lot of focus stacking at the waterfalls. So I've got three photos here. Here's number one, number two, and number three. Now, let's look at this leaf right here. So I'm going to zoom in real close to this leaf. This is photo number one, photo number two, and photo number three. You can see one is the sharpest. So let me zoom back out. Let's not go all the way out. That's number one, two, three, and back to one. If I go to the background in one, let me go all the way here. Uh, you can see the falls are slightly blurry, but if I go here to my second exposure, you can see that it's a little sharper, and there it's even sharper. So I took the first picture, focused my camera right here. I took the second picture, focused my camera here, and then I took the third picture and focused my camera here. Now let me check, make, and I'm going to reset these images. Because I did some editing earlier, I just brought them into here, so I'm going to show you how I do this. And now what I will do first is go into lens corrections, make sure remove chromatic uh, aberration, and then also enable profile, and that fixes the contour. If I shut that off, watch the screen, and especially the edges. Kind of takes some of the barreling effect out of the wide angle. I'm going to look right here. Okay, now I expose to the right, there's still detail. If I zoom in, there's still detail in this. But what I'm going to do is move my highlight slider slowly to the left. And then I'm going to look up in here and I'm going to move my, open up the shadows a little bit, quite a ways. And now I'm going to use a trick that I use all the time. I'm going to hold down the Option key on my Mac. And you can see I have highlights, bright highlights, all the way up there, blacks and move those to the right until I get black showing. And what else do I want to do to it? Color balance. I always start off with auto. Okay, that changed the rocks a little magenta, so I'm gonna pull green back into it and I'm gonna warm it up just a little bit. Let's do effects. I like a little vignette and I like to use what Ansel Adams used to do is just burning the edges of his prints, kind of like that. And I'm going to overdo it so you can see it. And I usually go around 14. And then I'm going to feather that till I don't see the effect of it any longer. Right about there. So let me do a before and after. I'm hitting the backslash key. There's before, after. So I'm going to bump the contrast up a little bit. So before, after. Now I have this one next to it down here. And it's not made a change. So what I do is I start with my first one pick my next one and my next one and then I come over here to sync right over here and I hit sync and I sync all of them then while they're highlighted I right mouse click and I go into edit and open as layers in Photoshop and this will take a few minutes so now as I'm in Photoshop, all three of those images are open up here. Now what I'm going to do is command click or shift click the bottom one and I selected all of these images. I come over to edit and I go to auto align. Now there's a thing called focus breathing that happens when your lenses are focused at different areas and I might have bumped the tripod a little bit so what I'm doing is lining up those images. Now if I turn off the top layer and the next layer, see that little white border? That means that I got some focus breathing. And what I do here is I go to the crop tool, 
and just crop inside on my bottom layers the only layer I'm seeing that's usually the one that has the most crop now all three of those images are lined up even though the water is moving in them they're all lined up now now I go back into edit and I go into auto blend and I don't use the content to wear uh, seamless tones and colors I leave that and all I do is hit OK now through uh, the magic of Photoshop, it's going to choose the sharpest focus part and build masks over here, which it just did. So now what I like to do, I'm going to flatten the image. These are my landscapes. So the next thing I made an action here called landscapes. If I click on this action, I'm going to get three layers and they're titled darker, lighter, and saturation. So I'm going to go to darken, hit my B keystroke for brush that the top color on my brush is white okay so if I paint in here now don't worry if it's overdone okay so I'm painting in and I always sound like Bob Ross when I do this painting in right there um, the eye tends to go to these light trees over here so I'm going to burn those trees and that's what I'm doing called burning and dodging can you see how I darken those areas now don't worry that it's overdone. Now, what areas do I want lighter? I'm in the lighter one, still have my brush. I want this waterfall to be a little lighter. This area right here, uh, maybe the edge of this rock. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off and on that one. Adds a little more pop. Now saturation, what do I want real colors to come out? Maybe right there, right in here. Some more color right there okay so let me shut off the saturation layer okay now these are all overdone on purpose so I go to my top layer I'll click on opacity and I'll slide the opacity down a little ways so now I double click on the mask and I like to feather the mask 150 or so or close to it okay now I'm gonna go to my lighten and I turn it off and on so you can see what I did okay and I turn it back on and I'm going to turn it down and I'm going to feather it okay now saturation is one that I turned down quite a ways I'm on the saturation layer I'm going to turn it down to about 50 double click feather that quite a ways okay now if I turn these off you can see the effect there there and the saturation just a little bit now I'm going to flatten this layer again and then I've told you before that I've downloaded this free panel uh, easy panel 2 from Raya Pro okay so now I'm going to use detail enhance click on that and this takes a while okay I'm back and you really can't see what happened until I turn off the filter watch the image off on it looks too crunchy on my opacity I go well below 20 percent uh, some someplace between 15 and 20 off on you can see it let me zoom in just a little bit to uh, let's look at these rocks right here okay so I'm gonna turn that off on can you see the little sharpness added and we're gonna flatten this image again and I'm going to save it back into Lightroom. So now I'm going to click on it. And you can go back and do even more to it in Lightroom. You can take down your highlights again, open your shadows, uh, add a little more contrast, change the color. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this kind of content, give me a thumbs up. Or better yet, subscribe. And thanks for watching.